leading the way for Team USA's over 200 competitors as flag bearers, curler John Schuster and speed skater Brittany Bell. As an athlete, being, I guess, uh, chosen to carry your flag of your country to lead your delegation into opening ceremonies is um, kind of the ultimate. The pandemic and politics have become a backdrop for these games. The Biden administration announced late last year they will would not be sending a delegate to the games with the White House, citing Beijing's ongoing crimes against humanity in Xinjiang. Weather stuff from Space and Gale joins us live now with the Storm Center 7 forecast. Same kind of narrative, cold and icy. Yes, the good news is no precipitation. So we're not seeing any more ice or any more yeah. snow. We're in fact going to be dry for uh, at least the next few days, at least through midweek that will be the case. But it is going to be cold until we get to the midweek as well. Now, we will start to see some rising temperatures. When we say rising temperatures, uh, maybe a little misleading. We're just hoping to get back to where we would expect to be for this time of the year. And we're not out of the woods just yet. We do have a chance of seeing a wintry mix a little later on this week, but no threat of a lot of precipitation or accumulation. So that is some good news. On the bad news side, even though we are going to see some more sunshine tomorrow, again, it's going to be a little deceptive. If you looked out today, you might have thought things were improving greatly, but in fact, it is uh, going to be another chilly one. We will be up to 34 for your Sunday, and then 33 for Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday. Now, typically, we would expect to have Readings in the upper 30s, well, we will get there. We'll get there on Wednesday, Thursday, and actually at this point, Friday and Saturday are looking uh, with readings in the upper 30s for your afternoon highs as well. So we are going to see a lot more sunshine for tomorrow. So that is good news, helping to get some of that ice and snow off the driveways and the sidewalks. Maybe you were able to shovel off some, but the ice was still there. Well, the sun is certainly helping to melt that down. Starting tomorrow morning, most of us will be looking at sunny skies. This is 7 a.m. And then we will see mostly sunny skies by noon. Now, again, it is not really going to heat things up, but it is going to help things to melt a little bit more. We stay clear through about 6 o'clock. Now just seeing some very light cloud cover, and then we'll pick up a little bit more cloud cover overnight Sunday into Monday, which is actually good news, going to moderate those temperatures a little bit, so Monday morning doesn't look to be quite as chilly. It's going to be a chilly start, though, for your Sunday. We will be in the single digits by 8, probably just getting up to about 11 degrees, and remember, that is not Factoring in the wind chill, wind chills uh, for the early morning hours will be close to zero. At noon, with more sunshine, we're up to 30, and then we will top out at about 34 degrees. So you are going to need the gloves, you're going to need the jacket. The good news is you are not going to need any of the rain gear. So the feels like temperature, even though the actual reading is going to be about 30 degrees, it's going to feel a little bit cooler tomorrow at 1 o'clock. You can see here in the Dayton area, 24, even cooler with low 20s. That southerly wind is going to help a bit, so we're not seeing those temperatures feel drastically different, but it will definitely be cooler. And then as we head toward the evening, and we'll again feel like readings in the teens, how about this? On Monday morning, it'll start to feel like readings in the 20s, so that is uh, much better than we have been looking at by the time we get to late Monday morning. So Monday afternoon, though, we will top out at 33 degrees. That's the magic number again for Tuesday. Both days looking at some sunshine, a mix of sun and clouds, but getting milder for your Wednesday. And then on Thursday and Friday, that's when we'll be looking at a chance of a wintry mix. You can see those temperatures climbing up into the upper 30s. No heavy accumulation expected, but it could make roadways a little bit slippery Thursday and Friday. All right, definitely looking forward to that sunshine. Thank you, Tracy. Well, after more than a year, Corner Kitchen in the Oregon District is getting ready to reopen its doors. In a Facebook post, the restaurant...